Welcome to the Daily Review. This is Fed Razak, Senior Trading Strategist here at CM Trading. And today is September 4, 2024, and today is Wednesday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, the U.S. markets start out the September session with a major sell-off. The markets tumbled. But first, looking at today's major economic events, so we start out the day at 345 South African time. Out of Canada, the Bank of Canada will be having a rate statement. Now that's followed up with four o'clock South Africa time from the United States. We have a jolts job opening numbers coming out. Now looking at the various markets, starting out with the forex symbols, the US dollar does strengthen as the US markets do sell off. So that means that when we look at the indices, the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq both tumble. Now looking at commodities, gold and oil had a significant sell-off as well. And as we look at the stocks specifically, it's the chip makers, the NVIDIA and Intel that have that massive sell-off. And lastly, looking at cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin sells off as well to a lower support. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So here we go. First, starting out with the EURUSD, a little bit of a retracement from day to day. Not a big matter of a retracement, but where it does count is the Australian dollar. I mean, that nosedive yesterday from 67.96 to 67.12, that was the bigger one. And if we look at the USD Japanese yen also retracing significantly yesterday to its lower lower range as that's made a correction below 45 that's a very important level now looking at commodities let's just jump into gold gold also dipping below 2500 once again and significantly staying under there now this is still on supportish level okay so i wouldn't want to worry about this too far 2472 is your lower support level you do have about 14 points to get there now looking at crude oil dipping below 70 dollars a barrel now that's super important as that is hitting its lower area and that's super super important okay as we did hit that area now looking at the u.s markets this is really where it counts dow jones also significantly selling off made that double top this is very reminiscent of 2001 when we had that major sell-off as well and that started capitulating so keep this in mind this may be a beginning to a major sell-off and as we look at the nasdaq that's really where it sold off because we know that those markets have really been very very weak okay the u.s markets have been weak but it's the computer stocks specifically that have been super weak so let's take a look at it nvidia had a big gap down and went lower okay from 116 ish level down to 106 now this if it tests its lows at 80 dollars or 90 dollars a share that might mean that we might be going back there now when you get super successful as an nvidia has you want to come after it and that's exactly what they're doing they want to break it up they want to not let it have so much power so on and so forth so there's going to be a lot of legal battles here it's going to be ensuing now looking at intel also selling off significantly if we look at a four hour chart you can see it a bit closer from 21 dollars down to 20 bucks okay this has really gotten beaten up and now intel is a bellwether it's a super super important stock so you do want to know what it's doing now looking at microsoft also selling to its lower range here okay on its 409 ish level that's super important as well now it's almost across the board i mean jp morgan did retrace yesterday to 20 after hitting 20, 225 down to 220 okay within a two days range okay so that could be a shifting point for jp morgan but remember next week we do have our fmc rate statements so that's super important as well now looking at bitcoin we're back on our lower supporters level at 56,500 ish level nothing to really freak out about but just realize that we are showing some more weakness I and mean, we're showing lower highs and we're testing our lows more frequently and that's usually a general sign that something's getting weaker so keep that in mind for bitcoin this is the fed raise act I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.